Related to sexual jurisprudence, now we are going to learn about abortion and MTP. MTP, medical termination of pregnancy. So first of all, we are going to understand the meaning of abortion. Abortion means expulsion of expulsion of product of conception at any age of gestation before full term before full term okay so this can be spontaneous and this can be induced also so this can be spontaneous this can be natural this can be accidental okay so when do we say that abortion was a spontaneous or natural when there is no intervention without any intervention spontaneously itself if the product of conception is coming out if there is expulsion of the product of conception before a full term without any intervention this will be considered as natural abortion or spontaneous or maybe accidental right but when we are going to say that this was induced or this was artificial artificial abortion means what when after intervention if there is expulsion of product of conception before full term then this will be considered as induced so this can be legal and this can be illegal so now we are going to understand in which conditions artificial abortion is legal and illegal means what criminal abortion do remember that overall abortion is illegal but we should know that in which conditions abortion is legal so in which conditions abortion is actually legal and there can be termination of pregnancy see like whenever there will be medical condition eugenic and on the basis of humanitarian do understand that whenever if there is risk of mother's life or after the delivery if it can cause physical or psychological grave condition to mother's health in this condition yes we have to terminate the pregnancy suppose if the first child was suffering from Down's syndrome Down's syndrome where you are going to see the trisomy of chromosome number 21st okay if first child is suffering from Down's syndrome or any kind of chromosomal anomaly now during the pregnancy during the period of gestation if doctor is going to do wireless sampling chorionic wireless sampling and if doctor is going to find out that in this pregnancy also there is chromosomal abnormality doctor can counsel the mother that your new baby will also be suffering from this kind of congenital problem so even when there will be chromosomal abnormality in this condition also yes abortion can be performed and when pregnancy will be because of rape yes abortion is needed so in these conditions abortion is legal and who can perform abortion a doctor who is a specialist in obs and gynae department and he should have done either post graduation in obs and gynae or diploma or six months to one year internship in obs and gynae department now how illegal abortions are being performed so there are two methods first method is by the use of medicine and second method is by the use of abortion stick okay now you will think that how abortion stick is being used for illegal abortion okay now understand how abortion sticks will be used for abortion 
Suppose if an unmarried female who got pregnant. Now, because of the social boundaries, because of the fear of the family, fear of the relatives and society, she may not visit any hospital. She may not visit any doctor. She will be visiting a Baba or maybe a quack. Now, what these people do? They use some of the plant juice. What they do? Over the bamboo stick, over any stick, they apply plant juice and after that they insert in the female vagina and they are going to touch, they are going to irritate the cervix. And whenever, whenever they are going to touch the cervix because of that plant juice, there will be what? Uterine contraction. Uterine contraction. And because of the Hyper uterine contraction, there will be sudden expulsion of product of conception. But do understand that this is very, very risky for the female. See, that guy is a quack. He is not a doctor. He does not know how to manage the complications. What if there will be severe hemorrhage after the abortion, after the expulsion of the product of conception? What if there will be hyper uterine contraction? There is severe hemorrhage, severe bleeding. And what if he does not understand how to control all these complications? Now, it will be very, very much late to shift that lady to hospital. There is very, very high risk of life to that female. So what are the plants which are being used to perform criminal abortion? About all these plants, I will teach you in detail when I will teach you plant poisoning. Okay, now the question related to forensic medicine, suppose if a female is claiming that she was pregnant before or she has already delivered a baby before, but the question is that whether she has achieved the pregnancy before or not, how we are going to understand here? Do understand whenever we have to make it sure that whether a female is multiparous or nulliparous or if she is parous. See, what does it mean? What is the meaning of the nulliparous? who has never achieved any pregnancy and the paris means what who already has achieved more than one or equal to one pregnancy so on the basis of shape of the uterus we can understand on the basis of anatomy of uterus and cervix how we are going to understand whether a female is nulliparous or or paris whether she has never been a pregnant lady or whether she has achieved a pregnancy before. So when I'm showing you the anatomy with the help of this diagram here, see this part, what I'm showing you, this is uterus and this is cervix. When I show you the anatomy of a nulliparous female who has never achieved any pregnancy, see here, see this part, this part is the length of body of the uterus and this is the length of cervix. In a nulliparous female, body and cervix length will be same, equal. Okay, fine. And now when you see the inner wall here, inner wall, inner walls are convex. And now you see the shape of the internal cavity of uterus. What is the shape? Shape is something like this. Okay. Internal cavity shape is triangular. Now you see internal opening and external opening. See internal os is well defined. Well defined well defined but when you see external opening no external opening is circular so this is as per the anatomy of nulliparous female and now when i talk about a paris female when you see the uterus see the length of body here this will be length of body will be double of length of the cervix first Second, now when you see the inner wall of the cavity, inner wall of the cavity is not convex but concave, concave. 
सी द कैविटी ही नाउ द कैविटी विल बी सर्कुलर राउंडेड कैविटी राउंडेड कैविटी इंटरनल ओपनिंग विल बी इल डिफाइंड इल डिफाइंड एक्सटर्नल ओपनिंग विल नॉट बी सर्कुलर बट देर विल बी समथिंग स्ट्रक्चर लाइक स्लिट ओके फाइन सो नाउ स्पेसिफिकली वेन आई टॉक अबाउट एक्सटर्नल ओस हियर सी लाइक इन नली पैरस वट आई हैव सेड who has never achieved pregnancy external opening external os will be circular so i can say like this see when i say external opening okay so you have to understand that external opening will be circular like this external os in nulli paras it will be like this but in paras it will be something like a slit hai na something like a slit slit and what about weight of the uterus when i talk about nulli paras uterus obviously it will be light in weight so nulli paras uterus will be 40 to 50 g in weight 40 to 50 g but paras uterus it will be heavier so this will be 80 to 100 g in weight and what about a scar from the placental detachment a scar from placental detachment suppose if a female who has never